So today we're going to be talking about having a vertical bar path throughout your squats and why for you, depending on how much you squat, a vertical bar path might not actually be achievable. We're also going to go over some cues that you can utilize or think about while squatting to improve your squat performance in terms of stabilizing your bar's path and having the most efficient squat possible. Before we go into that, we're going to have to go to the whiteboard to explain some key concepts surrounding the bar path of a squat. So before we go about talking about bar path and the best ways to fix or cue yourself into a better position for your bar's path, we need to talk about some physics 101. And that is the system center of mass, so the person and the barbell has to maintain its weight over the base of support, which is for us just a foot, a very small small uh, base of support. So for this person, as they squat, as they move down into their squat and up in their squat, for them to maintain balance over their foot and not move forward or backwards or lose balance either posteriorly or anteriorly, they need to maintain their center of mass over the base of support. And this is where the idea that the vertical bar path is ideal. And that is that the, the barbell itself must stay directly over the midfoot throughout the entire squat. And today we're gonna to talk about why this might actually not be achievable for many lifters. So for us to fully understand the bar path conundrum, first we need to look at people that only squat 0.5 to 1.5 times body weight, meaning that they don't have a massive squat with a lot of plates in the bar. <clears throat> For these people, maintaining a vertical bar path might not actually be possible, purely because as they start to descend in their squat and their hips start to move back behind the base support, so their hips start to move behind the feet, that counterbalance has to be made up by the rest of the mass of the person and the barbell, so the system. And that means that the bar might actually have to move forward in order to maintain that counterbalance of the hips moving back. And if that barbell is not that heavy, that hip movement it could be enough to perturb the barbell's path away from the, the front of the foot. So I have drawn this blue line to represent the midfoot and the center of my base of support. In this example, I have a body weight of 90 kilograms and I'm squatting 60 kilograms. The barbell holds 40% of the system's mass. As we can see, when I begin to descend my squat and my hips start to move behind the blue line, the barbell begins to move forward to counteract this posterior shift of the system's mass. Because the barbell only holds 40% of the system's mass, it can freely move forward in order to maintain balance over the middle of my foot. As a result, it is almost impossible for me to maintain a perfectly vertical bar path if my body weight is more than that of the bar. Now, if you're someone that squats a lot bigger weights, you'll probably notice that as your barbell starts to get heavier and you stack more plates in the bar, the bar path will probably start to straighten itself out. And that is because the barbell is starting to take more of the total mass of the entire system. And as the more plates we stack, the hip movement sitting back has less of an effect on how far that barbell has to now move forward to counterbalance that position. Here I am squatting 195 kilograms, 2.1 times my body weight. As we can see, the posterior shift of my hips has far less effect on the barbell's path. Here the barbell holds 70% of the system's mass and as a result must stay over the midfoot in, in order to maintain the balance of the system. The barbell's path is not perturbed by the movement of my body, so now we have a vertical bar path. As we can see, the heavier the barbell is relative to your body weight, the more vertical the bar path needs to be. Your bar's path should be determined by the load on the bar and once your weights increase and you begin to squat more than your body weight, your bar's path must become more vertical for squatting efficiency. So if you're somebody who squats 1.5 times and above your body weight and you struggle to maintain a vertical bar path, the best cue we've found here at Melbourne Strength Culture is for you to focus on your midfoot while squatting and keeping pressure throughout your midfoot the entire time. Try not to shift your weight either forward onto your toes or backwards onto your heels. The entire squat, you should be aiming to maintain pressure through the midfoot. 
What this allows you to do through the squat is it allows you to maintain your center of mass. And because that barbell is now above the, the, the mass of the body and you're above one times your body weight in terms of squatting numbers, that allows that bar to be as in an efficient position as possible, which will be a more vertical bar path as we've already talked about. So try your best to maintain pressure through your midfoot the entire time. So thank you for stopping by and watching this video on bar path. Hopefully we've given you some information that can improve the efficiency of your squat and help you hit some of those bigger numbers. As always, thank you for watching. Welcome to the culture. Happy lifting. And we're happy to have you on board.